Hennepin County Attorney Mike Freeman is under fire from the state's largest police union for how an officer involved shooting case in Maple Grove was handled. Two years ago, police responded to a Maple Grove home where they found a man in distress. That man had retrieved a large kitchen knife and started to harm himself. One officer deployed two tasers to get him to drop the knife, but was unsuccessful. The man then began walking toward another officer with the knife. That officer fired his gun, injuring the man. A third officer fired another taser, finally getting the man to drop the knife. The man later admitted he was impaired by drugs. The incident did not result in charges against him. But the decision not to prosecute angered Brooklyn Center-based law enforcement Labor Services, the union representing the Maple Grove officers. The union's executive director, Sean Gormley, said in a statement to CCX News that somebody needs to explain how a man holding a knife can threaten police officers without any legal repercussions. Gormley calls the situation a terrible double standard. He adds that those officers are under intense scrutiny and sometimes face criminal charges for their conduct. A man who threatens officers with a knife should face the same consequences. The Maple Grove officers were honored last month at the city council meeting. Chief Eric Werner says the five officers involved in the incident showed bravery, courage and selflessness. CCX News reached out to the Hennepin County Attorney's Office for a response. They released a statement saying after a thorough review of the case, prosecutors determined that there was insufficient evidence to file assault charges against the defendant. The case was also sent to Isante County Attorney's Office for review as well, and that office came to the same conclusion as Hennepin County. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.